All right, hello YouTubers. So I'm planning a series of projects tonight, and the next project is I want to put a air hose reel, one of those retractable air hose reels, up on the ceiling of my garage. So I need to try to plan out uh, what parts I need to order or go pick up to, to get my air hose reel um, that I'm going to buy interface to my to my compressor. So let's take a look at, at the parts that I actually need. Alright, so obviously I need, uh, first step is to get an air hose reel. So I'm actually going to mount the air hose reel up here on the ceiling between these two garage doors. Uh, somewhere about right there. So that is about as central in the garage as I want to get. Um, and then I'll put a 50 foot hose um, up on the ceiling and I can pull it down and, and work over here or work over here in the garage or pull it out into the driveway and I think it'll be long enough um, to get out to the cars to do air up tires and that kind of thing. And then of course I can use it for my air tools, uh, impact wrenches and, and that kind of thing. So I'll mount the air hose reel up here and then I'll probably come this direction with a connecting hose and I'll run along here, apologize for the lighting. Um, and then come down the wall to connect to my compressor. And my compressor sits over here in the corner. And as you can see, my, my current setup is just an air hose that's wrapped around the handle of the compressor and it's a complete pain in the ass. So I'm gonna get rid of this hose and buy another hose that connects here. And I wanna use a T adapter. So I'll come off of here and I'll have a T, and the top part of the T is going to run to a new hose that runs up the wall, across the ceiling, and then over to the air hose reel. And then the second side of the T, coming off here like this hose, I'm going to put one of those coil hoses that just kind of hangs here uh, that's long enough that I can use on my workbench over here and can reach over as far as my reloading press so I can uh, blow out and clean off my workbench here, my reloading bench. So I think that'll be the best way to do it and I want to make sure I'm not using quick connects because these suck, they leak. So I'll hard plumb this and I gotta figure out I think the standard adapter size is quarter inch adapters for a 3 8 hose so I'll need a T and I gotta figure out if this comes off um, and if this is actually quick disconnected I think it is but I'm not 100% sure but uh, I'll figure that out and uh, order up the parts and I gotta figure out how long the hose is that I need to run up to my hose reel I had to guess it's five feet, um, eight feet over. Um, so that's uh, 13 feet. And then I need to go that way about seven or eight feet. So that's another, gosh, that's 21 feet. So I probably need a 25 foot hose to go up the wall, across the ceiling, and over to the hose reel. So, uh, I have to get, I think I'll get a rubber hose for that and I'll probably attach it to the wall so it's like in the corner so it's a little neater and somewhat stationary and then uh, make it look as nicely as I can and then uh, cause, of course come off the tee with one of those coil hoses that um, it's kind of a well, it's a coil hose, right? And I just need to make sure that it's uh, long enough. I'll, I'll pick up one of those to get over here to my workbench. 
so that's what I'm thinking for my compressor project um, make it a little bit easier for me to do some work out here in the garage and uh, I have two air hoses one local here uh, to the workbench over here and then another um, up here on the ceiling that I can stretch out all over the garage and uh, and uh, do what I need to do with some air tools and airing up tires and that kind of thing. All right, so I'll check back with you. I'm gonna go order those parts tonight. And once I get the parts in, I'll make a video of me doing the installation and uh, kind of how it turned out. And uh, hopefully it's something, if you're interested, it's something you can do in your garage. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, as always, uh, hit that subscribe button. I got a lot more content on the way. So thank you.